Michael. My name is Michael. And my name is Richard. We are the lead investigators and co-founders of the Paranormal Travelers team. All of our lives we want to search for the truth of the unknown. Seeking out what we cannot explain, see, touch, or feel. So as we gather up our trusted team, we will spend one night searching for the answer to up the unexplained and the most haunted locations in our area. So join us on our expedition as we seek the truth. Ghosts, demons, Bigfoot, poltergeist, UFOs. We are your team. We seek the truth. We are the Paranormal Travelers. Investigation, burial grounds in Wapwalpen, Pennsylvania. Wallapin, Pennsylvania. Known for its Native American tribe with haunted Indian burial grounds. KKK killing innocent souls. And witches with their coven practicing ritual sacrifices. We, the team, take you to a residence who has heard and seen Indian spirits, which is moaning, unexplained markings on trees, cats that follow you and give you warnings that something spiritual is near. Is the land desecrated with tortured souls on the sacrifices made here? Follow us as we find answers on what we seek. Hi guys, this is Rick along with the team here. We're going to go live. I'm going to be your cameraman for a bit until uh, we switch off to some other people. We got our other lead investigator co-founder Michael along with Nikki and Michael Price all right guys first of all we are all the way I guess in hobby Wapen. yeah somewhere just around. outside Wapen. um and we were called to do an investigation on the woods of my cousin's house um a quick backstory about the woods here is that we have Indian burial ground that we're standing on from back late in the 1800s. We also have um, witches that were hung on the property here. Um, over on the opposite side of Rick, there's a white witch that was in the house over there that has her candles lit over there. I think you pointed that out, Mike. Yes. They had them lit over there. Um, sorry about the mis delay and everything. We're trying to get everything up and running and stuff, but being in the boonies and stuff, the internet kind of goes up and down. Um, so we're just gonna go with this. But right behind this is the point that my cousin had told us a backstory about Indians chanting, um, moaning sounds, cackling sounds. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take you back over in the woods over here and see what we can get. Um, and see basically what we're gonna do. Uh, Richard, if you wanna go ahead of us first. Oh no, it's investigators first. All right. All right.
can't reach that far with this, sorry. Anybody got a light? Shine the light. Don't need a bear sneaking up on us. Anyone here with us? I know for some reason he's like to go through the camera when I'm holding it. So if you're here, speak into the camera with this little screen here.
I swear there's something there walking towards us. Repeat that. What is your name? Are you evil? I run faster than any of you. Yeah, but... Could be a bear. Uh, Bears would scratch the bark right off. Yeah, of it. you would 
can see the claw marks because the front tree, my dog treat them up the fucking tree and there's claw marks all the way up. Danielle's right, she goes, um, that would, would, would explain the light now. True. Is it still doing it? Is it still doing the light there? Whoa, Look at the K2. Yeah, and it's there like towards the bottom, almost. Like the bottom of the tree where the ground and like, that's where the light is. We know you're here. We saw it go off. Talk to us. If you're afraid to talk to us in the spirit box, come to the EVP recorder. Tell us your name. Can you make it like pretty, pretty for me? Come on. If not for me, you can make it pretty for Michael. Light up those colors. trees which has white streaks going down the trees and then a big glow at the bottom but there's nothing here but bushes that would be glowing Like, you'll see them at the door, like, trying to get in. Mm -hmm. 
all the doors and windows are closed. And then all Who do you want to talk to? Flying around the house, floating around your head. Wow. It's been happening like every night for the past like, week and a half. Have you been getting times where you can't sleep at night? Are you harmful to humans? Or are you harmful to animals? Normally I don't like to stop this occasion, but... And who lives in the house right over there that has the, um... The brown thing? With the white, like the flickering candles. Um... Okay, now I'm back up at your tree. Are you gonna come talk? Did you hear that? 
gunshots or what was that? I just heard something growl. That's what I heard. Did you hear at all gunshots up over there? out here. Make a sound. In a few seconds, listen closely. Can you make that sound again? You will hear mysterious footsteps behind me. As I said, do you hear this? Make that sound again. If there's anybody back here, make a sound. again please Make a sound. Are you here to harm anybody? Can you do that again? I just saw something flicker up in the sky. Make that sound again. Can you make that sound again, please?
about this, but it keeps getting louder back there. And I'm like right direct. I'm like right directly back to right where it's at, like right in this section right here. Make that sound one more time. Show yourself. We came all this way and you're not doing anything? Show yourself. Tell me your name. If you don't tell me your name, give me a sign. Touch the back of Mikey's neck. So you want to make sounds. Well, I can make sounds too. My feet, my hands. <laughs> what did that happen? I didn't touch it. Oh, you're making yourself known. Okay. I'm trying to see if you can fix that. Hold on. Wow, that's. Are you back there, Danielle? No, Danielle went up front. She was a pillow. She's falling on easy. I feel kind of like somebody's like heavy. Mm hmm. Remember this time, 425. Alright. That's what it sounded like like a pig being like slaughtered. A <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was creepy. Creepy. 425, remember that. Come on. Come talk and play. 
can you tell me why you haunt this place? Are you friendly? We don't want to hurt you. We want to know more of what happened. or something. That was my fault. Still remember that time, 425, because that sounded freaky. I'm going to go radio silent for a second. That was a buzzing? You don't have a phone with you, do you? It's on silent. And we have no service here. Oh, that's... We only use it for light. But I did hear it. Was it... Send Price back here because we think we heard Channing would have won his event. Now it stopped. So basically, we're calling in another team member so he can clarify what Mikey and I already know. As you heard, the Channing back here. <coughs> we're going to have to go up there really soon. Battery's dying. This moment, when I say, oh crap, you will clearly hear an instant replay to what we believe is a heavy growling.
was that? What was that? I heard that too. It sounded like a grunt of a pig. 10, 11, 10, 12, remember that. 4, 10, 12. Take Rick out here now. It's gonna be his turn, so let's follow him. All right, guys. Um, we were back at the control center, and we have a wireless mouse. It was kind of going crazy, um, so we asked where it wanted us to go. It may seem crazy to you, but uh, to be honest, we uh, it pointed to Cam One, which is over in the woods, which across the creek is. Indian burial grounds, so that's you know where we're, we're gonna going. get our feet wet, right? I can't see where I'm going. Where am I going? Where is that? Keegan here, we got Michael Price here, Keegan and Rick. Alright. Now, this is what I'm gonna need you guys to do for me is wherever we're going, since I can't see nothing ahead of me because I'm looking straight, somebody needs to shine a light, then turn it off so I can see where we're going. Alright. If you guys want to go across, the thing is it's the best way is to go up and around. So you're not happy. Are we walking through water? Uh, water down here, or there's like a fallen tree over here that's but the best bet is to just go the long way. I don't want to trespass in case I'm trouble or anything. And then the most craziest part of country, all fun, is if you can look down there, it almost looks like fire down there. Like if somebody was carrying a torch, as me and Keegan were saying. This way, in the brighter area, is still Like there's the clearing, obviously, with the light coming through. That's what I mean, even during the day, this is all lit up. Yep. It's like bright green. Yep. And the rest of the woods is dark, and that, that's the first thing me and Michael noticed. That's pretty cool. All we see stuff moving through there, too. Heavy animal traffic through there, and just heavy, like, shapes and shadows. Like I said, if you want to go around, the easiest way is to just come up around. So we're not coming through the crib, because otherwise you're going to get sick. So, like, up the road, you mean? Yeah, just walk up the road. That would be easier, Rick. To, to go up the road, and then around. Where want to go, yeah. I'm just going to throw my other shoes off. All right. Alright, we're going to do an EVP session here. Um, we know you just can't see across um, the creek here, <clears throat> but this is where we, um, Michael and uh, Keegan just saw what, a group of people, yes, like with a torch walking down this way. Um, the moon has this area all lit up. When me and Michael first got here, the same area, which I feel is an ancient Indian burial ground. I can feel something there. And I just feel something strong coming from there. I know there's been grunting and whatever else in here, but I feel something over there. Just like I just saw a shadow right there just now. So there, I know there's something here. I see something white, but it could be the moon. I mean, we have a full moon tonight, so I mean, it could be the full moon that's shining down on a rock or something. But uh, it, it's it's an odd feeling. I have Indian blood in me. I mean, not much, but there is Indian blood in me. But I feel that's where we need to be. I don't know why, but I feel that's where we need to be. And uh, you know, I I, I don't like being Did you in hear the that? woods. Walking. Um, yeah. Just walking by your side. Yeah. See? I mean, we're not here to hurt anybody. We're just here to help our friends figure out why and what they hear. You know, we're not we're not here to hurt you. We mean no disrespect whatsoever. So, I mean, if that's what you think. We're gonna. What we're gonna do is pause this because we gotta get Keegan up at the house. But um, if there's anybody here, can you say 
to the camera that Michael's holding? Can you say to the camera? Or does the green light here touch the green light or that green light? Say it to the camera and tell us that you're here. Whatever language you speak, speak to us. Let us know. Tell us your name. Why are you still here? What happened in your previous life? Are you buried here? seen lightning bugs blink as fast as I've just seen a lightning bug blink behind you and now it's not blinking. I remember Michael how I told you I haven't seen I haven't seen orange lightning bugs since I was a kid. Mm -hmm. That was an orange lightning bug blinking real fast. Mm -hmm. And now it's not blinking. Explain that one. We're not here to hurt you guys. Keegan? Footsteps all over. And if you look down there, in between them trees, if you really focus, you'll see the light, but it's white, it's orange. You'll notice it. Rick, you're blurring out. At this moment, keep in mind where our location is at, there is no cell service or any kind of electrical current in the woods. As you will see, the K2 meter goes out of control. As Rick is crying, something is on my back. After that, look closely. You will see a shadow run between Rick's right side of his shoulder past the K2 in the woods. Look and listen very closely. And it's like pulling me. It's pulsating right here, right? It's pulling me in that direction. It's so cold right here. Look at that. Something's on my back. Look at that. Hold on. No, something's on my back. I can feel it on my back. Oh yeah. There's yeah. <laughs> something on my back. <laughs> oh my. Shh. How do you feel now? How do you feel now? How do you feel now? You should be fine now. You're not spiking red. You're fine. Whatever was there is gone. Check right over here. Whatever's there gone. Is there something that you would like to say to us through the camera audio? 
did you die here? Is this your resting space? sound. What is oh my god, that scared me. Friction on the road. Thank you. What? Oh, the cat. Right there, do you they see they them? They have to guard us out here. They don't know this. They have yeah, to be. one of them following us, and they will follow us anywhere. So it's like a protection kind of yeah. deal. Okay. I don't know if it's because of the cover. Um, there's ferals. I was telling you about that there are ferals all over here. Feral cats that you see constantly. Hmm. It's the country. Okay, there's farms, but they guard particular areas. Like all of ours cover from the end of the road, that end of the road. And they are constantly like patrolling and they their little guard positions that they take up every day and they will sit for hours and watch and just make sure no animals come through Ducky, is this the high the, the road right here that you guys claim or somebody claimed that they saw an apparition walking down in a black hat yeah here and then the other figure came you see that big tree okay. over there um on the other side of that is the cornfield and when that is grown in other figure came in there's a it's like a speed sign or something the yellow sign down there on the right uh it came from the cornfield that way why do i still feel like there was an accident on this road i feel like there's uh, a, 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 a lot of pain, pain. Like, we could go out here. some guy came around here watching doing, like 90 put his car up on two wheels and missed him by like two feet like this this road this road isn't the road that I'm seeing right now in my eyes. The road that I'm seeing is the bridge right here, and then all underneath of this bridge right here, like underneath the gravel, is brick. It it's is. Just it's a brick, brick. brick It's a brick tunnel. And I'm seeing something about like a, a horse and a buggy, like coming over this bridge, and then something happened where as it was rolling, it ran over a little tiny, like not a little tiny rock, but a rock big enough to cut the wheel to where the wheel actually flew off and the buggy went down and I'm picking up this person that you guys are explaining like this guy in a black hat tallest black hat and he has like this long jacket on long jacket on now you guys told me what he looked like but the way that I'm seeing him as is he's got like a beard right here long gray jacket on tall hat very very thin and he just walks like, not like a normal man would walk, like how you walk and stuff. It would be more like as if he's just like replaying his scene over and over again, where he's walking and then the accident happened, then he slowly fades away. And he's walking like this is his place where he died and everything that he's going through in the afterlife is a replay over and over and over again and it's only happening that i'm feeling about three o'clock in the morning like three o'clock exactly three o'clock is where i see him constantly going back and forth that's usually like right about when i'll start picking things up like three o'clock in the morning three to four in the morning and that is also usually like the only time that i can fall asleep is uh, three it's like between three and four in the morning or sometimes it'll push me later, but like something right at that time, I'll start falling asleep, but it'll like, hey, I need attention. Now, I didn't, it's like, I didn't want to tell this to Danielle, okay? But this gentleman that I'm picking up, it was as opposed to him riding, and he only got such and such far up to your drive. Well, he was going towards your driveway, but that was his house back in the 1800s on him. But it's nothing, it's nothing negative. It's, nothing. it's wherever the spirit dies is where it's going to constantly replay right. and replay over and over again. And it was just like, it's a sad story, but what it feels like is it's that he was just trying to get home to his wife, 
and as this wheel was moving, this wheel ran over a rock, the rock got caught up into his wheel, broke his wheel off, and just flipped right over the side and broke his neck over it on the side of the water and stuff. So, it's just a weird feeling, I can't explain it, but that's what I'm seeing. Like, I, this man walking back and forth, trying to just find his way home, but every time he gets to the end right here, he just starts sobbing. And it's crazy, because cats can see the dead. He's sitting exactly where, right where I'm explaining it. He'll she get... was just, she kept looking over the bridge too, like she kept looking down. And it's just, it's just weird, like, this area right here, it's just strong. It's a very, very strong, sad, very emotional sad, but it wasn't where he was angry. And what, and what I'm also seeing is that house right there. There's a barn around the house over there, like a, a big barn, but they tore it down or something like that. Is there a barn somewhere? Okay, yeah. so there's a barn there so right by the house. Field and it's their family too. And it's just like, and I see like these, not, you know those things that those build, those tall buildings that they put hay up into or corn for chickens yeah, and stuff? Silos. That's what I'm seeing, like yeah, two of them. They, uh, there's one or two over there and they tore one down last summer. This is, stand over here. And most people can do this. Give me your hand for a second. Feel my hand. Call now look at, shit. now look at that house right there. Yeah. Okay? Now tell me what you see by just looking at that little house. A silo behind it. Exactly. Like mm -hmm. you see a silo yeah. and you see like some kind of a farm or, or something like that. That's what I'm seeing. Like right here was the brick, brick road. Yeah. And that house was a little cottage, like Dorothy from the Wizard of Oz with the two silos back behind it. And this was the brick road that he was just trying to get home to make his way around the corner. And I'm seeing like women. And I think of not like Amish women, mm -hmm. I think of women in those Dresses. gowns and stuff like that, coming out and throwing like seeds out in the yard and just like going like this, like it's just, it's it's weird. So that's what I'm that's what I'm getting from this road right here. I, I it's just it's weird. It's strong. The image is perfect. The image marks the territory of what I'm seeing. And in your section, when you go around here, that U shape that's going you. Are you sure there wasn't nothing built? Like, how far did you do the research on the property? Well, there was three or four other sheds back there. Okay. Um, they've all had some weird out go on with them. Like one exploded, one caught fire. Um, was there any deaths? I don't believe so. I just think my neighbors are nuts and like to blow up their sheds. <laughs> um, you know, cat keeps scaring the crap out of me. There, there's literally like three or four concrete pits back there. There's burn pits dug back there. There's like wells that they burn shit in back there. Rituals. Why do I feel like this cat's protecting us from something? They, I'm telling you, they it's more cold or over here, right here bro. without yeah, at least control. one of them on patrol with us. That's how they are out here. They'll follow us. And like, you'll turn around and all of a sudden there's going to be like three or four more that are trailing along by. That's why I want to walk. Right here, guys, it's getting really cold. And, like right where I told you where the start was, like it's a, a breezy cold. Like if you take notice, the trees aren't blowing or anything. It's a, a breezy coldness feeling. Hey, wait, where's that camera? Right the other ones are walking back there by the driveway. He really knows. He knows. So I'm questioning myself, is this a bad man? No, no, that's good. the thing. He was, he was good. He was a kind of man that was... And like I said, how would I know that... He yeah. said, how would I know that underneath this gravel, it's all brick? It could be cement or whatever. It's brick, and this man... All I see is going like this. And like constantly, like hitting the horse, trying to get home. And as he's going, like say this is the horse right here. Follow me on this right. Mm -hmm. Here's the horse, here's the buggy. The buggy's going really, 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 really quick. Really quick, really, really quick. And then all of a sudden, right here, it could have been a piece of brick or a rock. But as he's coming up the road really, really quick, the brick kicks up from the tire as the brick goes up or the rock it gets caught into a spike the spike wheel starts shaking and as he's going really really fast it pops off and as he's going and as the carriage is falling this way it falls off flips on here with them in it or behind it and it literally breaks his neck like
like that's what the image I'm seeing. And it just stops right here. And it's crazy, and I guarantee you, if Keegan did research about this area, about, see, I wish I knew what the man's name was. I, I'm not getting what his name was, just the vision of what he looks like. And the way that he is saying is that he had to go home. I don't know if it could have been like a sickness that he was taking care of or a pregnancy that he... Had. What was that? It was him. Pregnancy or something like that, but... And then as, as I'm standing right here, as I'm, I'm going to say it again, like it's pure as day as I'm looking over to that house. The, the stacks behind it that I'm like seeing. Yeah, like, like, it's just weird. Like, it's just, it, it reminds me, did you ever, you saw the movie Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah. You saw how back in the olden days, how everything was like, in the movie, colored kind of deal, like an, an, a goldish brown kind yeah. of color. That's the vision that he's giving me. Like, we know we can see things colored, but the vision that I'm seeing is like that dates... Monochrome. Yeah, like, that's where it dates back. Like, the older vision kind well, of color. actually almost the color of the uh, stone and the silos and stuff. Like is it? Like, yeah. the, the... Check that out. Like Did you hear that? Tannish brown, like pale brown almost. And that's just creepy. Like, I, I... This is... I'm telling you guys. It's right here. And I've never been any more too sure in my whole entire life that if I could do research on this area, this, the, just this bridge right here, go to a local library or something like that. I believe there's one in town, too. Is there? Uh, actually, over by the Coven Leader's house. I mean, like, Rick, like, by you looking that way towards that little house, yeah. you could feel that. Yeah. You could feel that that was the image that Plain he saw. Day. And this, it's just, it's weird. It's a weird feeling, the brick. And the color of the brick underneath this road wasn't like a brown brick. It was a lightish, gray, a lightish beige, mm -hmm. tannish brick. Listen. I've been, I've been through it. I've been through it. Hi, putty. Kitty. Yeah, get out of the road. Didn't she just go up here? She did. She went all the way. Did she double back? Yeah. Oh. Maybe she wants to... Do you want to go somewhere? You want to go somewhere? Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? No, she, no. Wait for her. no, she wants you to come back. You want us to come back this way? That's why she's not moving. Okay, right here? See? See, and it was right here. Where I told you where the vision started, like, like the end of the bridge, Mike. Right. Like See that? that I, like I said, that could be like something that. Actually, if I remember correctly, that's where the bobcat got hit too. Was it? This guy didn't even move. It's sitting right at the end of this bridge. Hmm. I mean, that's the that's what I. I'm telling you, I guarantee you. I wish I had another person up here that can actually do the background thing where all they could do is go like this. Did you hear that? Yep. Trust me, it's watching. Yeah. Either that's one or two things. That's either a bird.
fix the camera because we all don't know how it got turned to face the trees in the woods. Welcome back. Wanted to stay out here. Come play. Come play. We're here.
no, 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 no. Oh, it's the cat. Yeah, okay. See, they have to follow you out here. They don't like you going there. They keep guard, especially her, like, and the white ones, they keep guard of you. We were astonished to hear what our video camera audio picked up. As Michael says, it's beeping. Listen closely, and you will hear a spirit response say from the audio of the camera, like Hey, Keegan's he okay. If you have a hard time hearing this, we advise you viewers to at here. home to turn up your talk TV volume or your headset.
it's not that. Now I'm it's almost like I a heard... growling noise. A growl. I wonder if it's the spirit of the dog that was died. That died. Here, walk over there to the doghouse. That'd be an awesome idea. Nikki says, I keep hearing that sound. You can hear another spirit come through the camera us? audio and say, leave us. For the best results, please turn up your TV or your phone volume. We were truly amazed. You were about to see an instant replay.
come back. Because when you walked away, the camera went blurry. Yeah, no, it's very cold. I've been tingling, feeling sounds out. I feel my leg hurting. Answer me through this box. Why did you attach to me? Whoa. Why? Rick's all blurry. Don't attach to me, because I'm not going to let you. Why are you doing this? We're here as friends. It's touching my right arm. K2. I don't care if you touch me, you're not going to attach to me. Give me your name. Do you not have respect? Answer me. I feel like it's like I'm a cheat. Like a cheat. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's trying to hurt him. I think what it's trying to do is wanting to pull him in. Walking through the woods. Why are you doing this? It sounded like it just said sit. Like if it was going to tell a story. Someone in white just walked down like a, like a white cloak walked down this way. Well, remember, Danielle did tell us that. Um, there were stories from this property long ago with the KKK. Guys. Did you hear that? Yeah. You see the circle? Right here? I don't know what it is, but I'm getting this feeling that in the center of the circle is the portal. You gonna stand on that side, Nikki? Why are you not talking? No, I'm not. You can touch people, but you can't talk? I can't see you, Mike. Talk to me. Should I try to burn something right there? You attach to me. Now talk to me. Hold on, Mikey. Another astonishing camera audio was captured from a Anything, spirit. Mikey? As Rick says, is this where you want me? Listen closely. Of a spirit responds back and says, maybe. Please, turn up your TV volume or headset volume for best results. And see if you feel anything. Is this where you want me? Are you going to talk to me now?
You're the reason why Michael Rhodes didn't come? Talk through the camera. I know that's what you spirits like. Evidently you love this camera. Talk to it. Did you hear that? Go with this. Go with this. Listen. Bum, 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 bum. Just, just keep that tune in your head, but listen very carefully. You are my ancestors. Why would you try to hurt me? Why would you try to harm me? Anything with the K2? Nothing with the K2 right now. Somebody's standing behind the tree, mm -hmm. looking around the corner at me. Yep, the same thing as what we had at the garage over there. It's a shadow looking right around the corner. It was a, It's the same one. I see you standing there. I can see you. The big... <laughs> Yes, that's the light. same one, and it's orange. There's a little tiny light right there flickering. flickering. How long has it been since we've saw, seen an orange lightning bug? It's the same I one. Know. Michael, move out of the way. Hold on, this is going on. Right? Because that's the tree you, it was standing by. You're not going to attach to me. You're not. Whoa, guys, you all are blurry. Oh my lord, I feel like I have spiders all over me. Right by me. Did you see that? Yes. Yeah. It was like a flickering light that kept going flick, 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 flick. But it was orange. It's right, it's right there. It's straight ahead. It's right there. It's the shadow's right across the stream by that tree. It's it, You can't see it moving. So where do you want us to go? Is that you? Mm. Rick, you okay? Make a sound, throw a stick. Rick? You okay? Richard? Just relax and believe that God is with you. Stop. Rick, you're okay. No, it's like somebody put their fist in your back. And... Yeah. I feel it up here. It's pushing. Yeah. No, it's like it's trying to push me over there. That thing wants me over there. There's that. It's an orange lightning. trying to, I can't see. Straight ahead, thank you. Look straight ahead. Straight ahead, babe. Now slowly, slowly, at the corner of your eye, this eye, ooh, look slowly ooh. towards... Whoa, 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 whoa. Michael, you didn't see that right in front I of us? It. I yeah, saw it. Um, there's something on the side of me, dude. I... Wait, Put the K2. This is a hand. This is a hand. Hold on. Dude, I'm feeling like uh, I'm getting... You know what it feels like? It feels like they're like this. Look, look. If you're an Indian crowd, they're going like this. Like, like, all around. This is exactly what I'm getting. Something like this. Whoa! What the fuck was that? Do you want me over there? Is this what you're doing? You're luring me, aren't you? Whoa. We had There's enhanced the audio here. for you so that you can clearly hear a chant of some kind of spirit trying to make yes. itself known to get our attention. Well, it's like we're surrounded. My whole right shoulder is like bricks. No, it's like dead weight. No, Mikey, come here. Um, There's a shadow with him. There's a shadow with him. There's a shadow with him. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. There's a shadow with him. Get off.
off me. He, it's on him again. Rick, think Rick, bre a white Rick breathe. A white think of think of your grandson. Think of Brett. In a few seconds, Happy place. if you listen very closely, you will hear a snap, also cackling sounds. Listen very closely. We also advise you with hearing. Please turn up your volume on your TV set or headset. Flicker so much. You see that, Michael? Uh -oh. Michael? Uh -oh. Michael? Uh -oh. Jesus fucking Christ! Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. They're creeping. Mm -hmm. They're creeping. Let All right. Down. No, but like no, no, no. Hold on, stop, stop. You're not gonna do this. Stop, stop, stop. Stop. It's, it's a creepy feeling. Like, okay, for example, stop moving. Stop moving. For example, if I were to be an Indian, it would be more like this. You know, their their little sticks that they have. Tomahawks. It'd be like stop. this. It'd be like this. Tom Rick. Is this how they used to move, Rick? Look, I need to know this. Like. Like walking like this. That's how they're pro like that's how they're projected in movies and they, stories. They blended in with the background. They, they were very well cam. They were good at camouflage. Oh. Rick, I think you need to sit out. Huh? Rick, let's take you back to home base. I'm good. I'm good. Mikey, here. I'm good. Because what you're doing is you're opening them up inside of you by showing them fear. It's not fear. It's called startling. Well, don't let it bother you. Every time I breathe, it feels like I've never smoked a cigarette before. Like I'm breathing like really clear. Here? Yeah, right here. I feel, I feel like I'm breathing like really clear. <coughs> Medicine man, maybe, with you? I hope so. Alright. I'm getting this strong feeling of a woman in a white shop coming. Rick? He needs to go. We, we gotta take him down. We, because there's needs... something on him. You gotta be like Zach, Rick. Go back. Go. Let's go. Yes, let's go. We gotta get him back. You can't come back out there again. You need to sit down there and You see, it's already green right now. Whoa, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's with me and it's him. It's like walking. It's jumping between these two. Yeah, because I feel just like this. Do you feel any fear in you? No. No, I'm like more joyful. Where's Richard? Than Big up, wait. Whoa, 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 no, whoa. Bring no that fear. back to Rick. There is no fear. I have no fear. It's fearing somebody because it's attaching to... It draws their energy to... It's negative ener energy. Ne That's negative energy. Around. Whoever has it, it seems like, Rick, you have the negative energy right now, so it's going to draw itself to you. You have to show them that... You're you not afraid. You're not afraid. You're the boss. Rick? What's he look like? Dude, I hear it. See, looking back and forth. Whoa. Straight ahead. It's like this. It's like this. It's like I know what he I know what he looks like. What does he look like? He has the white white handprint on his face. From the chief. There's that orange firefly again. And it's only surrounding Rick. What's he saying? He's not saying anything. He's looking. He's is he next, looking? He's next, is he big, he's next to that big tree again. Mm -hmm. The big black tree. The one right there. Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Right there. Mikey, here. Oh my god. Are you gonna take Rick back? I'm taking Rick back. Here, I got it. Devil's goat. Michael, I'm gonna We're take Rick back. The fucking devil's goat We're right there. Back. We're gonna Look run. at the fucking devil's goat. Look at it. What are you it is to? lit up. You can't see how the moon has yeah. that lit up. Oh my god. Yeah, like the horns and stuff. Yeah. Something evil. Well, I believe in the white light and Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, me. protect us. You don't scare me. Guys, it's crawling up the fucking thing. Just walk back. Alright. What? You okay?
Okay, Mikey? Feel the back of my head quick. Not hard. Does it feel like all my hair standing straight straight yeah. up in the back? Let me see. Holy crap. Like, right about here. All of my hair is like standing straight up in the back. Rick, no lie. Feel this. Come here. I just feel like I got a lot of power. No, I feel like my spine's lightly, trying lightly, to be... Lightly, lightly, lightly. The whole entire of my hair is all standing straight up. I feel like my spine's trying to be ripped out. All right, we'll get... We'll...
If you're here, can you do it faster? to an end, and our research about the grounds gave us proof that the land was indeed haunted. We came across many sounds of spiritual camera audio sounds. We caught shadows running, drumming sounds, cat warnings, cackling sounds, growls, and also a team member being attacked. It was clear that the spirits wanted our attention. Was it the witches? Was it the Native Americans? Was it the KKK? Or was it all of them? We don't know for sure, but next time we'll be more ready for them. Join us for our next episode of Paranormal Travelers. <laughs>